How's it going, fellow pickers? For this mandolin lesson, we're going to take a look at how to play the Norman Blake tune, Widow's Creek. If you've looked up this video, you probably already know, but Norman Blake is one of the most important songwriters in the world of bluegrass, as well as one of the most important instrumental writers. And I think that this is one of the best examples of his work. This is off of his album, The Fields of November, and it's in the key of G. It's a little bit shorter than some of the other videos that I've done, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it once at full speed, and then I'm going to play it again and really walk you through it with a lot more detail than I have in some of my other videos. If you like me going through these tunes with more detail, please let me know in the comments so that I can keep doing that in future lessons. If you like the tab and sheet music so you can follow along, you can go to my Patreon page and find that for just $1, as well as everything else that I posted for just $1 a month. If you want to make sure that you're not missing any of the videos that I put out, make sure to hit subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that YouTube lets you know every time I post something new. Alright, so let's take a look at the A section. I'm going to play through it once slowly and then we will go through it in more detail. So really we're going to be starting off with just a basic G triad and we're going to take the second note of that triad. So the B that's on our second fret of the A string and then we're going to go down to the D, I'm sorry, the D string's fifth fret which is your G note and then roll your finger down to the D on the fifth fret of your A, right? So and then back to B. Then go to the third fret of your A string, play your C, C, B, a, B, C, up to the D on the 5th fret, and then reach down, get the open E, F sharp, G. And that little run there should be all 8th notes, so it starts quarters, and then switches over. So from there, we're going to go down to that B again on the 2nd fret of the A string, Play D on the 5th fret, and then back to B, and that's all going to switch back to quarter notes. And then we're going to do another run that starts the same and then kind of switches, switches gears there. So we're going to do C, B, A, and then reach down to the G on the 5th fret of D, and then F sharp on the 4th fret, open D, E, F sharp. So, so far, all of that. And then we have this little run here. Which is a lot of fun to play. Um, so you're going to be starting on your G. G. Back down to the F sharp on the 4th fret. Back to G. Reach up and get the B on the 2nd fret of A string. Then open A. Back to G. A, B, C, B, C, up to the D on the 5th fret, open E, back to D, E, F sharp. Now from here we just have this kind of little ending lick. So that's going to start on the G on the 3rd fret of your E string to open E, down to the D on the 5th fret, down to C, B, C, B, A, G, F sharp, open A, F sharp, G. So let's play that much of the tune. Uh, just from the beginning together. One, two, three, and four, and one.
So you can give a pause there if you want. I tend to do some uh, pickup notes to lead into the repeat of the A section. Um, so if you want that, that's just an open D, E, F sharp. Now, the second run through of the A section just starts a little bit differently and then it's all the same. So the second time you do the A section, instead of starting on the B, you're gonna play the G, start there, play open D, and then go to your B on the second fret of A, and then down to G. And then from there, it's all the same. So let's try the entire A section together. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do the same thing for the second section that we did for the first. We're going to play it slow down and then break it up. Let's take a look. We're going to start on the open E, E, F sharp, and those are pickup notes. So it's going to be before the downbeat, and that downbeat falls on the G that's on the third fret. And we're just doing a reverse G, basically a G6 arpeggio because it has the E. So E, F sharp, G, E, down to D on the fifth fret of A, the B on the second fret, and then G on the fifth fret of D. And then walk back down, so go back up to your G, F sharp, E, and then D on the 5th fret, C on the 3rd fret of A, B on the 2nd fret, and then open A. And then here we have this little nice bluegrassy look. We're going to be playing from G and A. We're going to go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So G to A, one and two and three and four and, and then go down to your F sharp on the second fret, the D on your uh, fifth fret of A, and then two D double stops. So those last two notes just held together. So let's do all of that together uh, from the beginning of the B section. And remember that the first two notes are pickup notes, so they'll start on beat four. One, two, three, four. And 
then we're going to have this walk up E, F sharp, G, so 0, 2, 3, open E, D on the 5th fret of A, C on the 3rd fret, B on the 2nd fret, open A, G on the 5th fret of your D string, and then back to the B. go to your C, you're going to play C on the 3rd fret, B, C, D, open E, D, open E, F sharp, G, back to open E, D on the 5th fret of A, C, B, C, B, D, go down to the 5th fret of your D string, G, F sharp on four, open A, F sharp, G. And you should recognize that that kind of mirrors that A section a bit. So let's try the entire B section together. One, two, three, finish up that B section, you're just going to repeat it. There's nothing different about the second run through of the B section like there was on the first part. So yeah, good luck.